What's up guys, welcome to the channel, Bulls Garage. On today's video, we're gonna try to pass some emissions in the Chicagoland area while being um, with a high flow cat downpipe. So currently, my emissions are due to be passed. I'm cooling down the car right now because I just got home from work. It's freaking 97 degrees outside. My garage, you ready for this? You guys ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. 105 in this motherfucker. Okay, so this is gonna be hot. Uh, so I started messing with this a few days ago. Let me tell you what's going on. So I just got an email that my emissions are due at the end of August. My registration expires. Can renew the registration without doing emissions. All right, so I already knew this was gonna happen. So what I did, I tuned the car back to stock because on the stage two tune, the rear O2 sensors are shut off. They're not monitoring anything because it's not needed. That way you don't have a check engine light. So what I did, I put the car back to stock tune and I used oxygen sensor defoulers. People call it spacers, whatever you want to call it. All right. I'll post a couple pictures here of the original setup that I had. And I don't know. And I threw a check engine basically, right? So I had it pretty much something like this. I'll show you. All right, so this is how I had it. I think there's just way too many spacers and shit. So what I'm going to do is remove this one right here and this one. And I'm just going to connect it from here to the O2 sensor and see if that's enough. Ah, damn, this is fucking hot as shit. But basically, this is going to go straight into the downpipe. You can see the hole is slightly smaller. Then O2 sensor is going to kind of sit right there. So that should hopefully have enough restriction to not throw a check engine light, but also not throw the other fucking too lean, too rich, inaccurate, blah, 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 bullshit. I'll keep you guys posted. If this doesn't work, then I gotta put the fucking stock down pipes in, which I'm gonna fucking hate to do. So, currently on the car, if you look right over there, so I have a spacer that's in there currently, okay? It's just one little spacer. I originally had the, the whole contraption, but it threw a check engine light and the code was, I'll post it here, it's basically saying oxygen sensors slow to read be between rich and lean. So I'm guessing that one of these rear sensors is bad and the check engine light is for bank one, sensor two. So what I'm gonna do today is uh, keep the spacers how they are. I'm just gonna swap from bank to bank and uh, I'll see if the cold jumps to bank two. If it does, um, I ordered new rear O sensors. They were like 55 a piece. I ordered those. If they come in, I'll throw them in, keep the spacers in there, and hopefully pass the mission. So this is gonna be a multi-day video. Let's get it. What's up guys? I got my wife in the car with me. Show right here, mama, by the fuel or by the temperature gauge. Hey. Yeah, right here. There's no check engine light, okay? Um, I put in new rear sensors. I threw the same check engine light as I was throwing with the original sensors. So I'm like, okay, it can't be the sensors, it's something with the flow. The code was slow to respond from lean to rich conditions, slow response. So the spacer I was using, I'll show you in, the, in a separate clip, had a tiny hole. I went and put the bigger size spacer in and reset everything. And so far, all the systems for the oxygen sensors and the oxygen heater are active and there's no check engine light. I'm driving around to activate just the EVAP system and uh, what was the other system? EVAP and what? And fuel system. Those are the only two that are still not ready. Fingers crossed that those turn ready to 
tomorrow morning I'm going to the emissions and hopefully we pass and I will be the first person to pass emissions with a dial pipe because now everybody that's been telling me on the forums it can't be done you can't use spacers blah 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 so I'm not trying to jinx myself but if it's true I'll show you exactly which spacer I'm using I'll have the links in the description below so you can pick it up for yourself and you can pass emissions that way without swapping your downpipes to this factory once if you're in an emission state like I am. So I'll keep you posted. So far, so good. See you in the next clip. Cross your fingers. All right. All right, all right. This is it. The next day after yesterday's drive. Let me get a light. So let me demonstrate everything for you guys, okay? And show you what went down and what did not go down. So, in the earlier videos and the pictures, you'll see there was, this is what this comes with. It's, and another piece goes right here, right? That's the piece that's in there cur currently. When I first did it, I put the whole thing. This, it was, so it was an L shape, and then the sensor was on top. That's not going to work, especially since I have high flow cats. That just pushes the sensors way too far away. And there's not enough flow being read by the sensors okay so then what i did was install just this piece and put the sensor in this one has the smaller hole hopefully you could see that hole i put this in same code slow to respond lean to rich blah 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 i had the same one with a bigger opening hole i put that on perfectly fine it's tricking this it's so the hole is big enough and the sensor is further back so it's just enough to trick the computer saying that there is cats and the flow between the front sensor and the back is equivalent how it should be with cats there so that's what it is that's what saved the day and if you don't believe me that i did pass pass i wasn't ready was the fuel system Oxygen sensor ready. Those were not support not supported, so that doesn't matter to nobody. But it was done. There you go. The date. Uh, let me show you what this looks like. So I just tuned the car back to stage two, turned off the rear sensors, and I'm gonna be a happy camper. What I did do is I still left the spacer in there and the o2 so you know there's no need for me to remove this since the rear sensors the rear sensors are not reading anything so they could stay just like that there's no issue with it no problem so there you go i passed with my high flow cats if if let me give you an if here so Let's say you have catless downpipes, fully catless, all right? In that case, you might get away with this smaller opening because you're gonna have a lot more flow than, than I do being a 200 cell. So the 200 cell catalytic converter, you know, slightly reduces the flow. But if you're catless completely, then this might be a good option. So give this a try. If it works for you, comment below, let me know. And yeah, I passed. I'm happy. Cars back to stage two. We keep on trucking.